Uh, very good morning. Welcome if you have just tuned in. Where have you been? We've been having so much fun this morning, but also taking a rather serious look at a massive problem here in South Africa. Now, we know that rhino in Southern Africa, where the majority are found, are extremely vulnerable at the moment due to poaching. Our uh, rangers and conservationists are doing their very best to protect our rhino, but they can't do it alone. So they're making use of the keen eyes, smart nose and very strong legs of a very eager protector, dogs. Ten years ago, game ranger Conrad de Rossner got a puppy to be his companion in the bush. His dog, Zingela, became famous for tracking Panjo the tiger after his escape, and Conrad saw how canines can help with rhino conservation. So canine conservation was born, and Conrad's team of highly skilled dogs provide anti-poaching support. This is Anubis here. He's the German Shepherd breed. And we're utilizing him as a man-tracking dog, so he will follow human scent trail and apprehension work. The Weimaraners we're working with as well. We work with them just to track wild animals, injured animals, wounded animals, etc. You will find that the Weimaraner does not do very well on lead like a German Shepherd or a Belgian Shepherd, for example, will do. They're very stubborn. It takes a long time to get a Weimaraner to be up to the obedience level of a working canine. And they are very good for the purpose that we use them for, as in tracking animals. We do a lot of work at night time. We own the night because the dogs are working on a sense of smell. And at night, you can't see that well, but the dog can, has a whole scent picture of what's going on. All the different Weimaraners have their own speciality. His speciality is tracking wild animals. This guy, Landa is our lion tracker, lion leopard and uh, predator tracker, this guy, yeah. And Manzi, Mr. Rhino tracker, this guy, good man. In their anti-poaching work, the dogs provide protection and valuable assistance to rangers when tracking poachers in the bush. Anubis's job, he's got three jobs. Follow human scent trail, indicate the presence of that human, and then if needs be, by all means, we will try and apprehend that suspect without releasing the dog. But if that suspect runs, we're utilizing the dog to apprehend the suspect because the dog can run much faster than a human being can. Their dogs perform a major deterrent factor. The poachers know that we are out there day and night, 24 seven around the clock with our canines. They know that they cannot corrupt a canine and they know that they cannot foil a canine senses. The challenge is, as a canine handler is interpreting and reading the bo dog's body language so that we can work effectively as a unit together. The dog's work environment is physically demanding, rough terrain, very hot weather and lots of running. So their health is closely monitored and the handlers take great care of them. So they obviously have to be very fit for the kind of work that they do. And we, under no circumstances, will work a canine just after it is eaten. If you work with a canine after it's just eaten, up to two, three hours afterwards, it can get what we call gastric torsion. The stomach can twist down inside its abdominal cavity and that dog can die the most terrible death. So we have to be very careful how and when we feed the dogs and obviously what kind of food we feed the dogs. All our canines are on Heal Science Plan, high oil content, high protein content, and the dogs need that extra boost of energy. As you can see, these dogs are in beautiful health. Canine conservation has effectively reduced the number of poaching incidents, and this team of dogs has also apprehended poachers. It's a wonderful example of how one four-legged friend is protecting another so future generations can see rhino in the wild. When he's healthier, he's happier, and a dog's tail never lies. Give him the science of happy, found in Hills, the brand recommended by vets worldwide.